Hey everybody, I wanted to connect with you as I was recently doing some deep self-reflection. I just celebrated another birthday and it got me thinking about where I was the same time a year ago. And I'm sure you've had times in your life where you felt stuck. Um, maybe like you're in a, the wrong routine or you're in a funk and you're not sure how to get out. Well, that's exactly where I was a year ago. And I can tell you so much has changed from then until now. And I'm gonna be sharing with you five tips to help you get out of that funk. But as I reflect back to a year ago, I found myself feeling like I had gone backwards. I was in a point in my career where I just so happened to be covering for somebody who was out on leave, but it was working with a client I had worked with several years prior. And it just got me mentally psyched up that I had gone backwards in my career and in my life. At the same time, I was also turning 40 that month. So of course, I'm sitting here thinking, gosh, where am I going? Is this really what I wanna be doing? And I felt close to depression. I found myself sitting in my office one Friday morning and I just hysterically broke down in, into tears crying so hard my husband had to come running in to make sure that I was okay. And I just found myself pulling back and it was the same behavior I had done just a few years prior. And unfortunately, that pulling back, that withdrawing from everything actually led to that feeling of being in a rut and being in a funk to continue for a full 30 days. Actually 31, it culminated on the night of Halloween. So what I learned now that I look back on that year are different strategies, different things that you can do to get yourself pretty quickly out of this funk. So the first one that I wanna to talk to you about is social connection. As I talked about, I had withdrawn. I cut off my friendships. I put myself almost into hiding. I did nothing but work and again, found myself back in a routine I had been at in a few years prior. It is actually found that biologically, when we make a social connection, we release into our bloodstream oxytocin. And that hormone helps us feel happy. So when we connect, even when we're at a low point, when we make that friendship, that relationship, when we reach out, we actually build physically, biologically into this piece that will help us become happy. I found that when I did the opposite, I was embarrassed. I just didn't want my friends to see that I was in this um, you know, state of almost depression. And here I was doing the opposite. So your tip number one, when you're feeling in a funk, that is the time to reach out to your friends, to your family, and make those social connections. It's gonna help you get out of it that much quicker. Number two, is I want you to think about something you can look forward to. Now, I do this every morning. So each morning I think about what's at least one thing that I'm looking forward to that day. Even better would be if you could plan something, something new, that concept of newness gets us excited. So whether it's a big trip you wanna plan or it's something small of you know having a new experience, a new time to yourself, but Think about something that you could plan that would allow you to have this looking forward to feeling. Tip number three, which some of you may love and some of you may fight me on, is exercise. Now I know most of you know that I actually am an exercise junkie, but there's a reason for it. And the reason is it makes me feel happy. Now I realize for some of you, you think exercise is miserable. I'm gonna ask you then to just get outside and go for a walk. The fresh air and the movement, getting your blood circulating, releasing those endorphins, all of that is gonna help you get out of that funk. It's gonna clear your mind and you're gonna to start to think about new things that could get you excited. So regardless of how you feel about exercise, it's my order to you. Number four is I want you to go out and start doing random acts of kindness. Think about when you've ever gone and done something nice for someone else, how did that make you feel? Probably pretty amazing, right? 
So we can we find that when we go out and do something nice or say something nice, send a quick email to somebody and say, hey, you did a great job. Text a friend you haven't reached out to and just tell them that you miss them and you loved your conversations you had the last time. Go drop off a card, mail a card to somebody. My husband for my birthday just bought me this awesome box and it has 52 thank you cards in it. And it's to send a note to somebody every week for 52 weeks, just giving them that thanks, right? Giving them a random act of kindness. So as soon as you start giving, you're gonna start receiving. And then finally, my fifth, to start making you feel happier and get out of that rut, is thinking about what you're grateful for. Now, my daily practice is at night, I have a journal next on my nightstand next to my bed, and I write at least one thing that I'm grateful for that day. Other people have more of a, a lined notebook and they like to write down more than one, maybe three. But even if you had the worst day ever, there's at least one thing that you could think about that you're grateful for. It doesn't have to be something monstrous. It could just be that you're grateful you got out of bed that day. It could be that you're grateful that you made it home safely from work. It could be that you're grateful that you got your child down for a nap that day. Whatever it is that you're grateful for, I want you to start recording that. So there you have it, five tips that are pretty easy to very quickly implement that I want you, if you're feeling in a funk or you find yourself not excited, to go out and start activating that. I will tell you the difference in one year, and it was probably less than that, it's just my reflection from a year ago, our night and day difference of my happiness and how successful and produ produ uh, productive that I am. So excited for you, go out there, and I'm here to support you to live a happy, healthy, and balanced life. Until next time.